you are in the market for a brand new boat, maybe you just want to check them out and dream a little bit, you can do all that and more at the Seattle Boat Show. It starts today and Jade Elliott is live at Lumen Field with a first look at all things nautical. Good morning, Jade. Hey, Maria. Good morning. Yes, it is the West Coast's largest boat show, and that's where I am this morning. I feel right at home. You know, I grew up in eastern Washington uh, wakeboarding on the Columbia River, so I got a trusty wakeboard here and surrounded by all these beautiful boats. You just can't go wrong if you come down to Lumen Field today. Doors open at 10 a.m. for all of you who want to come down today for opening day. Joined by George Harris, uh, president and CEO, putting on this boat show for years. Thanks so much for having us this morning. Thanks for being here. Yeah, great day. We love it. It's a great day to have a great day at the boat show. Talk to us about what people can expect when they come down here. Well, we've got 300 businesses. We've got over 800 boats on display here at Lumen Field Event Center and down at Bell Harbor Marina. There's a shuttle that runs continuously to both locations. There's easy parking at both locations. And it's the opening day. And it's also Groundhog's Day. It is Groundhog's Day. And of course, talking boats, we want spring and summer to get here as fast as possible. That's right. We've been tracking Punxsutawney Phil, of course, off of the East coast no shadow no shadow so spring is around the corner yes. we think but what's his cousin bill have to say well, about we, it we huh? think <laughs> his cousin boat show bill is better than Puxatani phil for predicting an early summer and that's what the word is it's going to be early so we think folks need to get down here start planning their summer boat boating whether you're wakeboarding fishing sailing cruising using a pontoon boat we've got it all here for the next nine days yeah i love it and so uh in honor of groundhog day of course i'm hearing there's going to be some of these hidden around the show that's right the iconic uh groundhog's day movie starring bill murray from 1993 uh we've got bill murray in the porthole hidden around in our different display areas and if you can find bill Check in at our uh, information booth and enter to win. We've got a fun little gift basket with the DVD movie of Groundhog's Day. And, and believe it or not, there's a game, a Groundhog's Day game <laughs> and some other fun things. So we're just trying to have fun on Groundhog's Day. Yeah, absolutely, because we want spring and summer to get here ASAP. Hit the water in these boats. So if people still want to get tickets, how do you do that? Go online, seattleboatshow.com. You can buy your tickets online. There's single-day tickets. We've got some fun promotions during the week you can check out. If you don't want to do that, you can just walk up to the box offices here at Lumen Field or down at Bell Harbor Marina. Great. Doors open at 10. And this is a big day. We are open all the way till 9 p.m. tonight. I love that. Opening day, a big day, of course. So come out to the boat show. We're here at Lumen Field. We're going to be here for the rest of the morning. A lot more fun in store and even some history that we're going to show you as well coming up. And then, of course, boat show bill making all the appearances this morning. We want Summer to get here yesterday, right guys? We'll send it back to you. Check back in with you in just a little bit. That's Market it. for a brand new boat, or maybe you just want to check them out, dream a little bit. You're going to want to check out the Seattle Boat Show today. Jade Elliott is live at Lumen Field with the first look at all things nautical. You're having a good time out there, Jade. Yes, uh, we are having a great time out here. It's opening day at the Seattle Boat Show. It's the West Coast's largest boat show. But it's not just about the new boats that you're going to come out and see. It's also about some of the old boats that are on display here. And in particular, the Connie. Uh, the Connie was used with the UW rowing team and uh, also featured, of course, in the film, The Boys in the Boat. And the original Connie is here on display with us. And George, this boat has quite the story and quite the history behind it. Yeah, we're really fortunate to have Connie here. This boat, boat was built specifically for the UW rowing team in 1932. And it was the boat the coaches used when the UW won the gold medal in 1936, which is the story of the book. And then in 1971, there was a little drama. Two of the athletes took Connie out in the middle of the night. Illegally. Probably, illegally, without permission. <laughs> I think they were trying to impress their, their dates, mm -hmm. and then they got into an, a boating accident. And uh, Connie was severely damaged and ended up in a heap on the UW property, and a former rower said, I want to salvage Connie. He remembered how special Connie was yeah. and brought her back to this beautiful condition that we see right here. And then we're going to have a one-of-a-kind panel of um, Eric Cohen, who was the expert for Dan Brown when he wrote the book. And they're going to have a panel on Sunday at 1 o'clock. We've got a former, uh, the current UW women's rowing coach. And, and a, former Olympian. A former Olympian. Yeah. And then the president of Pocock Racing Shells is going to be there. Mm -hmm. So never before assembled panel of UW rowing historians, experts to talk about it. It's really special. It is very special. It's such a unique group of people that are coming together with so much knowledge about the sport itself 
the Connie in particular, and people are going to be able to really learn a lot from that. So that's Sunday at 1. And there are some unique features to this boat as well. That's right. So the coaches ride forward, so that would be sort of uncommon for a boat to have mm -hmm. such a unique compartment for the uh, passengers up forward. And then it's very long and very narrow so yeah. that they can just quietly move along Lake Union uh, when they're coaching. And it's just been restored absolutely beautifully, uh, just like a number of these other boats here uh, with the antique and classic boat society that they have on display. That's right. And, and so the owner of this boat still uses it. This isn't just a, a piece of art. This gets used every summer, and it's it's a it's a piece of art. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah it really is. You know, we were talking earlier. It's it's a labor of love of what a lot of these boat owners do when they're restoring these and keeping them in such pristine condition. It's really cool. Yeah. All right. Well, you will have a chance, of course, to learn more about the Connie. Again, Sunday, there's a panel discussion at 1 o'clock, and tickets are available for that as well. That's all here at the Boat Show opening day. Doors open at 10 a.m. Coming up in the 9 o'clock hour, we are going to try out a little racing. There is a pedal, a pedal boat cup that has been put together. We're going to talk to the designer of uh, land boats, is what I'm calling them this morning, and we're going to try our hand at racing them as well, testing them out. It's something that you can do when you come down to the boat show here at Lumen Field. Guys, back to you. If you are in the market for a new boat, or maybe you just want to look at some and dream a little bit, you'll want to head to the Seattle Boat Show today. Jade Elliott is live at Lumen Field with a first look at all things nautical, and I've been excited for this segment. Jade, what are you doing? I know, Maria. I am excited about it as well. A little nervous. I don't know how fast I'm going to be in my land hydroplane. But we are we're live here at the Seattle Boat Show. It is opening day. And I have Zach with Zach's Contraptions, co-host of Contraption Masters on the Discovery Channel. Thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. You're the mastermind behind what I'm considering a land hydro. That's correct. Yeah, these wonderful pedal boats were given to me with the ultimate challenge of of, well, converting them into something that we can have fun with at the Seattle Boat Show. And okay. Well, let's let's start. Let's give yeah. it. Let's give it a whirl. I'm gonna let you steer. Okay. Because it's a little wonky. All right. You ready? You ready? Mark. Get set. Go. Okay. So this is something that you guys can come down and do. They're having races, and there's a leaderboard that your name's gonna go up on. And every day there's gonna be a daily prizes given away. You can win uh, pit passes and tickets to the upcoming Seafair. Correct. And then what's the grand prize for the weekend? Sure. The grand prize of this is actually a log boom tie-up to yes. the grand seafair event whereby watching the angels the blues fly over yeah. and just getting so up and close and personal to the actual race and uh, that's a nine hundred dollar value too. Kids are racing these things. Huge value and for any seafair fan they know what a deal that is. Sure. Now, we're going to race this. We have some competitors behind us. We have a little bit of an advantage. Yes. I'll say this is no Miss Budweiser. The rooster tail <laughs> isn't here. But they were practicing earlier, and they're, they're getting some speed. Yeah. Okay, we got to go. Yeah, we got to go. Get go. Oh, oh, they're yeah. getting it on us, Zach. <laughs> so when you come down to the Seattle Boat Show, you can do this as many times as you want, right? Absolutely. Oh, I love I it. Them off. So you're yeah. saying, on average, someone with the skill that I'd say you have, or even them, <laughs> they're amazing. fast. They blew up on us. You're saying 45 seconds is what it should take you to get around the track. Absolutely. 45 seconds, maybe 30 seconds. These things are squirrely. So <laughs> each wheel is independent. Yeah. The rudder system's backwards. It's not meant to be easy. Well, and as you saw in the corner, it goes from three lanes down to one. So you kind of have to drift your way around exactly. to cut off the people behind you. Exactly. And it's meant for that challenge. Time. A little bit of Mario Kart in this as well, yeah. so. But a lot of fun. Oh my god, it's amazing. I love it. All of us just laughing. I can't believe how fast they came up on us. <laughs> I know, and we had a serious advantage. And really? They, they almost got us. They flew. I know. So everyone can do this when they come down to the Seattle Boat Show opening day <laughs> today. A little bit of a bumper boat situation <laughs> happening here <laughs> with, with Miss Tugnuts. That's the boat we're on this yes. morning. And so uh, <laughs> you can come down, take part in the fun. Of course, check out all of the boats, the new boats, the old wooden boats. And, of course, the land hydro boats yeah. that Zach has just miraculously put together for us. Even has the little 
jet engine on it. I love it. I love it too. I love okay, my job. Good. You, you can win passes to Seafair, uh, pit passes, and then of course that grand prize, the log boom tie up. So those prizes are going to be given over the course of the show. Doors open today at 10 o'clock. So in 45 minutes, doors are opening. Can we make our way over there? Or are we stuck? Uh, let's, I let's, might see we, let's see if we can make our way over to Fernando. Oh, no, it's <laughs> oh, So come on down. Doors open today, and it runs for the next nine days here at Lumen Field. We're going to send it back to you guys in the studio. Go away.